Now grab the, the knife. Woo! Boy! Get ready! Yo, 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 welcome. Welcome back to another episode, another episode of Heavy Rain. This is episode four of Heavy Rain. Um, we just completed trial two for Ethan. Um, we're back on Ethan and his perspective of the game. We've uh, haven't really dug too much deeper into who the hell the origami killer could be because they just threw me off for a loop in this last episode, last couple of episodes to where it's just like, I don't know if it's Ethan anymore because why would you be putting yourself through all of this if it is you? But hey, I mean, <laughs> here we are. Um, let's jump right in. I'm excited to see what uh, what else unfolds, see what, what happens in trial three and, and, and on and and. <clears throat> And onward as always i greatly appreciate the love and support y'all show the videos make sure you continue to spend that like button smash sub button enjoy bell notification be alerted and as always ladies and gentlemen headphones in volume up and let's immerse you need to honestly take a break but we we ain't got time to break to do no breaks we two for two are you preps uh are you prepared to make a sacrifice to save your son seven nine seven eleven Marble Street, a sacrifice. Damn, they put us back on her real quick. I didn't do it. I swear I didn't do it. I've got nothing to do with that business. I never killed nobody. Oh, no. Then why did you run away when they came to question you? I already told you I forgot to report to my parole officer. I didn't want to go back to prison. When I saw the cops, I just bolted. I wasn't thinking straight. You thought that was going to keep you out of prison? We checked out his statement. He has an alibi for at least three of the murders. That bastard was a perfect fit. Ash? Okay. Sean Moss's mother is here. She'd like to speak with you. It was a few months back, the middle of the night. It was pouring down. Ethan came home completely drenched at about three. Mm. I asked him where he'd been. He, uh, he spoke about drowning the rain. Um, he didn't make any sense. There was something, something in his eyes, as if it, Really him. Are you just now coming to us and saying this? There may be no connection, but the next day there was that announcement about another victim of the origami killer. Find my son. I'm begging you. Can we get a little bit more con uh, emotion out of y'all? Blake, this is Agent Norman Jaden of the FBI. According to our information, Ethan Mars is one of your patients. We'd like to ask you a few questions about him. I'm sorry, that's impossible. What do you mean that's impossible? I'm bound by an oath of secrecy. Under no circumstances may I discuss my patients. My job is to find Sean Mars alive, and I don't give a damn about any bull <laughs> oath. It's your duty to inform the police if you suspect one of your patients, Doctor. I'm sorry, I can't help you. And now I must ask you to leave. You need to cooperate for your own sake. Doctor, a child's life's at stake. You may know something that could help us save him. Are you threatening me? I'm just giving you some free advice, Doc. I suggest you take it. Blake! That's enough. Let's get out of here. I am going to call the police and make a complaint about your behavior. Hang the Doctor, phone up, Blake. You really pushing my buttons. The only thing I'm interested in is Let me turn my back. Life. So I don't see nothing. Be a good boy and tell me what I want to know or I am really going to lose my temper. What are you doing? Are you out of your mind? Back Let off, go Jake. Of me. This guy knows something you, and I'm not leaving here. You have tell no me what it right. is. 
<coughs> you want to open your mouth now? Good cop, bad cop. That's the strategy. I ain't gonna intervene this time. I did last time. Not blood on my hands. There's an easy way and a hard way. It's your choice. You right? A couple more. Alright. Alright, that's enough. What's up with you, Norm? Are you getting cold feet? You don't like to get your hands dirty, huh? I thought you wanted to save that kid! I want to save Sean Mars just as much as you do, but that doesn't give me the freedom to do what the hell I like, so you're gonna stop this right now! I'll get you for this, Jaden. Don't worry. I will not forget! Ethan Mars has about? had psychological problems since his first son died feels responsible for his death. Sort of morbid neurosis. I'll get you for this. See how that good cop, bad cop played? by visions of drowning bodies. A few weeks ago, after one of our usual sessions, I found this on the floor. Origami? It must have fallen out of his pocket. Of course. <clears throat> and you was gonna withhold that from us. You're harboring a fugitive. You're harboring a possible serial killer. Okay. All right. How far would y'all go to maintain integrity and in, in ethics? Ash, I want you to sign every I'm not supposed to say anything about my patients. It's confidential. Impact. Notify all agencies to all start right. looking for I want you to keep an eye on the train Confidential, station, the my airport, ass. the bus terminal. I want every cop in the city on his ass. So if he moves, we know about it. Yes, Ethan Mars is the origami killer. I wouldn't go that far as say he is. It's very, very damning ev evidence against him right now. But like, why would he be going through all these trials if it is him? But hey, he could be crazy. Hey. How you doing, sir? Nice shot. Thank you. Please come in, Mr. Shelby. Would you care for a coffee? Oh, no thanks. Do you play? I tried once, but I think the owner of the course is still looking for me. <laughs> it's an interesting sport. It requires strength, but also a cool head and absolute... It's a boring sport, decision. that's what it is. Would you care to hit a few balls <clears throat> with me? There's no danger of damaging the greens here. Okay, take off your jacket and grab a club. Buddy, I'm trying to get to business. The balls are in that basket. Alrighty. The most important thing is to grip the club correctly. When you feel ready, you swing. Damn, really? Well, it's only your first ball. You should try to strike it a little harder next time. Can I ask you some questions now? I'm assuming you didn't invite me here just to play golf, Mr. Kramer. I hear you've been asking questions about my son. 
That's right. I want to know if Gordy is linked to the origami killer case in any way. There we go. My son had nothing to do with that sordid case. Well, then he has nothing to fear from my investigation. You have no business investigating my son. I told you, he had nothing to do with it. Okay. With all due respect, Mr. Kramer, it's up to me to decide who I want to investigate. Exactly. Mind your business. I'm an influential man, Mr. Sherman. I get it. Very well. <clears throat> know what else is influential? This pistol, if I aim it at your, at your oh, dome. Trying to buy me. Let's just say I'm trying to show you where your interest lies. How much do you want to leave my son alone? A billion dollars. You got it? I think you misunderstood me. I don't play that game. Don't go near my son, Mr. Shaw. If you do, you'll regret it. Have a nice day, Mr. Kramer. I already beat two of your goons at the same time. Don't slip up because you're mad. to Ethan about to be running from the cops again so we've already done that three inches 747 Thursday Porcelain lizards? They look new. Out of place with the rest of this old beat-up stuff. Wanna break it? No, I wanted to break it! Like, I pressed down on the thing, like... Oh. Gotta press both of them, okay. Maybe it'll say something. Maybe it'll make a noise if something's in it. There it is. A key. It's in the kitchen. Let's check the kitchen first. That propane actually hooked up. That propane tank is a. Uh, Are you prepared sketchy. to suffer <clears throat> to save your son? You have 
five minutes to cut off the last section of one of your fingers in front of Ooh. the camera. If you succeed, you will get your reward. Woo! The last section of one of your fingers. Could y'all do that? Oh, here we go. Let's make it nice and easy. Make it nice and easy. Me, if I'm a parent, it's a no-brainer for me. A no-brainer for me. Get it done. Get it done. I got time. Let me see if there's something in the bathroom. Like some supplies or something to clean myself up after I do this. Wait, what's, what's this? Yep. Here we go. Look in there. Grab what you need. Yep. What else? Nah. Why would I put that back? You have four minutes and thirty yep. seconds. Plenty of time. Left. Anything else? Okay, we got that. Can we make that knife hot maybe? No? this oh a saw now we're not sawing our hand at all <clears throat> what's this over here nope or is that a plank okay that's a plank what's that down there Ah. Four minutes left. Plenty of time, man. Pick. Yep, turn it on. Make it hot. Make it hot. There we go. We go. We ready. Take this. This gonna numb it. You have three minutes and thirty seconds left. Now grab the the knife. Boy, get ready, get ready, get ready. I thought Don was to chop it off. Get ready, get ready. Woo! Get the breath together. Get the breath together. Do it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I pressed the wrong button? Bro, y'all gotta s stop with these these weird combinations. Make it D or something. Oh, I'm holding it. Three minutes left. Like, it's confusing because you got the, all the buttons shaking. Y'all taking me out the immersion with all of this. Okay, here we go. Here we go. You ready? You ready? Ah! Woo! Woo! Get back up there. Get back up there. Get back up there. Get back up there. Now we got to use the fire. This is not even the worst part. It's the fire part. It's the fire part. Woo! Woo! Yep, yep. Here we go. Yep, there you go. 
She Burn it. You gotta seal it off. You gotta seal it off. Whoo wee! She put a little bit more of that spray on there. They got this man going through hell, boy. Get his son back. Surprised he didn't pass out from the pain. Oh, he is getting up there. It's getting up there. Woo. Yep, Roosevelt. You should have been up all through Roosevelt by now. I guess I didn't find enough of the plank pieces for the plank. Boy, who could y'all? Like I said, if I'm a parent, I'm doing it all. But that's that's just crazy to think about having to cut your own finger off. I wish he would have had the option to make the put the knife on the fire, because if you were to do that, that would make the knife uh, sharper, and it would be easier to cut through all of that. But she. And he had to go back That's for a second time because it didn't position. go clean through the first. Perfect. Oh my Nobody goodness! Nobody until I give this signal. Is that clear? We nail him as soon as he sets foot outside. Right, Lieutenant. Lucky that patrol spotted his car. What's he doing in there? Beats me. You're the profiler, right? I thought you were supposed to be right inside the killer's head. Well, that's just it. What I know of Ethan Mars doesn't match the killer's psychological profile. I know what the jury's gonna choose between your theories and kind that matters. Proof. Yes, it is. Girl doing there. March comes out now, she's gonna be in trouble. What do we do, Lieutenant? Wanna get her out? No, stand down. Da, da, da. I'm just a girl walking. Don't pay me no attention. Yeah, yeah. She's going inside. <coughs> she lives there. Mars just as well. We don't want anyone hanging around if Mars comes out. Ethan, what happened? The police, they're out there. I think they're here to arrest you. We've got to find another way out. Why is she helping this man so Shit. much? You don't What's know what this man there? doing. Wait for a go on my word. No! We gotta do this for every one of these damn planks, bro. No! Hopefully this ain't a waste of time. I don't know why that I was literally going in the same direction the whole time so I don't know why that did that it's too high get a box or something there you go hurry up Ready on my go. Stay here, Jaden. Out of the question. I'm coming with you. 
Two men at the door hold your positions. It's a go. Get get Ethan. <sighs> Need something to break it. There we go. There we go. Hurry up! On, let's go this way. Come on! If y'all don't hurry the hell up! Of course y'all made noise. Hey, you Get in the dumpster! I'll shoot. Come on! Go. I can't. Hands in the air! You're not about to shoot us, buddy. There's a man and a woman exiting the alley. A woman? It's that girl who went in. Everybody downstairs. They're in the alley. Follow them. The subway. No, let's go in the store. They said we in the alley. Oh, no, the alley. Alleyway. Don't move! Well, we were caught. <clears throat> Was I supposed to cut through traffic? What is you sad for? You don't even know this man. Sheesh. You up here depressed and sad. You don't even know this man. He could be the origami killer, for all you know. I guess I was supposed to cut through traffic. It just didn't seem like that was the logical uh, thing to do. But I'm not here to judge you, Ethan. I'm trying to save the life of your son. We still have time, but it's running out. Help me, Ethan. Tell me what you know. Ethan, I'm trying to help you. I just want to understand what happened. But you have to trust me. Come on, Ethan, talk! Look at these, Ethan. Look at these. Eight photographs. Eight lives taken. Drowned in the goddamn rain. Recognize this one, huh? That's your son, Ethan. That's Sean. He is still alive. Talk to me, Ethan. Say something! I just don't understand why this man not talking. You've lost, Ethan. What will you gain with one more victim? Huh? I kidnapped my son. But I can't remember what happened. I don't know where he is. The only way to find him is to let me out of here. I'm the only person who can save him. You don't remember anything, but you think you're the origami killer. I'm sorry, Ethan, but you're gonna have to do a lot better than that if you want me to believe you. I love my son. I love my son. If you keep me here, Sean is going to die. Time's running out, Ethan. 
<laughs> Frankly, I don't care why you did it. The only thing I want to know is where you've hidden Sean. <clears throat> Mm -mm. I don't know. I would already have saved him if I knew where he was. Okay. This is your last chance, Ethan. <coughs> Come on, Ethan. I suggest you think carefully before you Come answer. Come on. Where is Sean? Come on, Ethan. I told you I don't know. Ah! Wrong answer. <sighs> I asked you when. Carter, stop! I'm gonna report you for this. Go ahead! Get the hell out of here! I couldn't stand you from the very beginning, Norman! Now get the f down! Norman. Even if he is a killer, that doesn't give you the right to beat him. Whose side are you on, Norman? Are you defending this piece of sh? I'm defending the law, and the law says he is innocent until proven guilty. This guy's got no rights, do you hear me? No <laughs> rights at all! <laughs> this man is a maniac. You f Are you gonna tell me what I wanna know or I'm- Blake, what are you doing? This guy's a killer. He's got no f rights. He's gonna tell me everything. Y'all making me cycle through all of these things? Like, What are, we, what are we doing? That asshole has gone too far this time. Blake is trying to beat a confession out of Ethan Mars. You've got to do something. Which is more important, Norman? Finding oh, you corrupt Mars too? or sparing that lowlife a few bruises. You can't make omelets without breaking a few eggs. God damn! Ethan Mars is innocent! We've got to get back to looking for Sean if we're to have any chance of finding him alive! This case has worn you out, Norman. You need some time off to think it through. <clears throat> Here we go back in our jail cell. Go ahead and take that stuff. Go ahead and get you a little sniff. A little sniff sniff. Yeah. There you go. Calm down. Not you then started hallucinating. <laughs> Whatever happened there with him. <clears throat> Almost didn't catch that first one. Ain't no way they got me doing all this. Why we keep introducing new buttons? Keep it the same. This is. <clears throat> Your vodka, sir. Thanks. You look preoccupied, if you don't mind my saying so. Problems with the investigation? Blake is convinced that Mars is the killer. Not you. <coughs> I thought there was some evidence to that effect. That's true. But it just doesn't make sense. His psychological profile doesn't fit. Neither does the geolocalization. I can't see this father drowning eight victims before kidnapping his own kid. Mars is not the origami killer. I'd stake my life on it. Okay. Then so, who is? Ethan. I is haven't it? the faintest f 
idea. So who would Maybe you should review the evidence in your possession. That's just what I was thinking of doing. Stop, uh, stop stating the oh, obvious. One last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. I'm trying to keep a handle on it, but that's difficult. It gets more and more difficult. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir. So Ethan Mars is not our killer. Not it. He's staking his life on it. Back to the drawing board with my theories, huh? What other well, well. we got? Looks like there's something new. The video recording from near the park on the afternoon Sean Mars disappeared. I doubt there's anything on it, but you never know. Okay, so let's look at it. A Chevrolet model corresponding to the tire prints passed at 1602 heading for the park, when in the opposite direction at 1637. That could fit the time that Sean Mars disappeared. Could it be the killer's car? Interesting. <laughs> of course not. Pity we can't see the driver's face. Chevrolet Malibu. The car was stolen. <coughs> Let's see. A certain Jackson Neville was suspected of stealing it. Philippine but the charges Canada. were dropped. Not enough evidence. Of course. We analyzed that already. Go back to this driver's license. Jackson Neville, AKA Mad Jack. Involved in several cases of buying and selling stolen vehicles. Considered to be very dangerous. Gotta go talk to him then. This guy might have provided the killer with a car. It's yep. a pretty slim lead, but it's all I have right now. Nope, gotta go talk to Buddy. Did Mars confess? Of course not. No, not yet. He lost consciousness. We'll give him a break and then we'll get back to him. He must be tougher than I thought. Tough or not, he'll crack. They all do. Should I go in this, this room? In any case, congratulations, Lieutenant. You've done a fine job. I've called a press conference. Gonna kick off in one hour. I expect it'll be quite an event. Don't you want to wait until we actually got his confession? No point. We've got him. Leave us alone. I... Uh... Lieutenant Blake said to... Please. Leave us alone. Right, uh... I'll be at the door if you need anything. Christ! Are you all right, Ethan? Uh, 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 
Oh, I got just gotta move up on it. I forget. I forget. I forget. Cause sometimes they want you to re-click it and everything. Like so. I gotta get out of here. I've gotta save my son. Let's see what I can do. How about we just break him out? Ain't no see what you can do. Exactly. I'm gonna find a way to get you out of here, Ethan. Stay put. I'll be back. You got the keys on you, buddy? Gotta find some way to get rid of the guard if I wanna free Mars. What am I doing? Helping a suspect to escape? That'll cost me my badge and earn me a ten year stretch. There should be officers' raincoats all over the place. Gotta find one and get you looking at, officer? You know, I gotta create a, d a distraction. Gary, you can take a break. I'll keep an eye on him. You sure? Actually, I was busting for a piss. If you need to adjust his handcuffs, the keys are on my desk. On his desk? What was his name? Place full of cops and none of y'all uh, saw that. Pathetic. That's got rid of the cuffs. Wait, you won't be able to get out of here looking like that. I need to find you something. That was smart. Should I have grabbed myself one as well? I think I'm good. Here, put this on. They're having a break. If you're quick, you'll be able to slip out without being noticed. Head straight to the exit. Don't stop, don't talk, don't even think. Just walk. I don't know what to say. I... Just say you're gonna save your son. Way to go! Alright! I hope I won't regret that. They about to have me switch to this man. Once again, how many police detectives are and, and officers are in that building? And not a single person thought, like, was like, huh? Whew. Less than an hour ago, we heard from the police who have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Ethan Mars, father of the kidnapped victim Sean Mars, is on the run and should be considered armed and dangerous. A police manhunt is now underway, and they hope that they will soon be able to announce the apprehension of this dangerous lunatic. <laughs> dangerous lunacy. <laughs> That's crazy. I brought some food. <clears throat> like, I didn't know what he likes, so I brought her. some of I'm everything. Just, this I is it's okay. so strange. This random person just... Why are you helping me, Madison? You know nothing about me. You could have been killed. Arrested? I don't know. I A guess it just seemed like the right thing to do at the time. You needed help. I helped you. You were all over the news reports, Ethan. Every cop in the country will be hunting you. They say you're the origami killer. Is it true? Are you the killer, Ethan? <clears throat> I 
I mean, she's the only person who out here trusting and believing you outside of Ethan, uh, Raymond, Lehman, Norman. <clears throat> I, I sometimes have these blackouts. Times where I don't know what I'm doing. As if I'm someone completely different. The only thing I remember afterwards is the bodies. The bodies in the water. You don't remember that. What are you talking Why about? are you hurt, Ethan? Why were you in that apartment? I think my other self is testing me, testing my love for Sean. He wants to know if I'd love my son enough to save him. That means there's some part of me that knows where Sean is. But the only way to find him is to go through these trials. Why can't you tell that to the police? And tell them what? That I'm a schizophrenic who drowns his victims and has kidnapped his own son? They'd never let me go, and I have to stay free to save Sean. I have no choice. I'm his only chance. When Sean is out of danger, I'll turn myself in, but not until then. You can't keep going like this. You're destroying yourself, Ethan. Finding Sean is the only thing that matters. There has to be another way. You don't understand. Time is running out. Sean will be dead in a few hours. I have no choice! Please, Madison. Leave. Forget everything that's happened. There is nothing more you can do for me. If you want to help me, leave. If you want to help me, me to do this on my own. Leave. <clears throat> Whew, this game is a lot, boy. It's a lot to ingest, a lot to take in. Jesus. All right. Let's see what our next trial is. We even know we did a trial, right? Didn't we? We we did uh, trial three, or did we? Yeah. Yep. That was this trial. Was it? I can't remember. Are you prepared to kill someone to save your son? Brad Silver, 6784 Longway Road, Lexington. Kill him, send a picture. Get re your reward. Now that one... That one I don't know if I can do. That one's crazy. Killing someone else? Manfred! Manfred! Anybody home? These clocks. You want to help by saying something? Or you claim you want to be a, a, a helper? Hi there, Manfred. Who is it? <coughs> Scott. But he should you Scott be? Shelby. Do you remember me? S Scott? S Scott! Oh, yes, of course. Well, good to see you. 
How long has it been? Oh, about ten years, I guess. Oh, at my age, time means nothing anymore. But he bottom row of teeth look I, like I cardboard boxes. But I try to forget about time. <laughs> How about you? Are you still with the police? Oh, no, I quit. I'm a private investigator now. Uh, this is Lauren. She's a she's a friend. Hello. Oh, hello, young lady. Well, this this calls for a celebration. I'm just a thing. Wait there. I'm How about sure you just I, tell me I where it's at so I can go and get it? A bottle of scotch around here somewhere. Ooh, that man is old. You see him shivering while he walked. That's that. That's that. Beyond a, a younger a favor, age. Would you, Scott? Tell him to call back this afternoon. Where that phone at? Sure, no problem. Over here. Yep. Hello. Yeah, this is Manfred's. He's not available right now. Could you call back later this afternoon? Thanks. Got it. Did you get that scotch ready? Let me see. What else we got up in here? What's this? Clock. What's this? What's up in here? Bathroom? Yeah, of course. This game has an interesting knack for wanting you to take pisses just in random places. <clears throat> Y'all could have left that out the game. I promise. I promise you. Who 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 playing the game like, oh I gotta piss. Oh shoot, I gotta piss. <laughs> hey. Nobody. Well, <laughs> to old friends. <sighs> I'd like you to have a look at an envelope. I thought maybe you could tell me about the typewriter that was used to type the address on it. Well, let's have a look. Hmm. Let's have a look. <clears throat> now, could you pass me the uh, magnifying glass from behind the counter? Oh, sure. Oh, you've got two magnifying My glasses on your, on your head right now. Me. That, it was that desk, right? Wasn't it? Or were we talking about a different desk? This one? No? Okay, yes, yeah, on that one. My eyes are beginning to fill me as you have glasses on. Whew. This man's really old. Here. They want me to go around here and give it to him? Okay. Thanks. Now let's see what this envelope has to say for itself. A royal five. And yes, the shape of the T's and the F's is typical of that model. Produced between 1907 and 1924. Yes. No doubt about it. It's a royal five. These typewriters, are they rare? No, no, they're fairly common. I'd say many folks have one gathering dust in an attic or in their cellar. Do you keep a record of all your clients? Oh, yes, indeed. At least the ones who pay. <laughs> Any chance I could get a peek at that? Yes, of course. I keep my account books in the office. Uh, if you're not in a hurry, I have a list of all the clients who ever bought a Royal Five or, or had one repaired. Yeah, that would really help us out. Hmm. Delighted to help. 
appreciate Give me two minutes. Wish and everybody I'll be was right like this. Back with the list. That you think man the killer's is been here? Old. If he has a 1920s typewriter, he may have needed Manfred's services to get it fixed. We'll know when we get the list. All these damn clocks, bro. Taking this old man so damn long. What you Hello? doing? Manfred. Hello? Your call is lost, sir. A police call will be in a few minutes. I need to know who you are, sir. Sir? Hello? We didn't hear the gunshot? <gasps> oh my god. He's dead. Oh. killer has already called the police. I think he wants us to be his scapegoats. We've got to get the hell out of here. What do you mean? We have nothing to do with his death. We were just here when it happened. Look, we're running out of time to find Sean Mars. The last thing we need is 24 hours in a police station explaining this whole thing. Well, so what do we do? <clears throat> Watch the front door. I'll get rid of our fingerprints from everything we touched since we came in. We better work fast. The police are going to be here any minute. So I was supposed to pay attention to everything this lady was touching? What are you doing, Lord? If someone comes in, we're going to be in trouble. These are Manfred's account books. He must have been waiting for owners of royals when he was killed. Forget it. we got to get out of here fast. All right. Let's see. I know we gotta wipe this down. What else? I touched that magnifying glass. Yeah, my fingerprints are all over this bad boy right here. All over this desk. Right? Yes. I wish y'all would stop changing the buttons. Like I get y'all trying to keep me keep me guessing, but Jesus. Alright. Bottle. What else did I touch? A oh, wrong button. What else did I touch? I touched that phone. And she touched that uh <clears throat> that ballerina set. Did she touch anything else? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, I touched the door handle. I went in the bathroom. She No! Scott, can you give me much longer? The police will be here any second. I'm almost finished. I didn't touch nothing else in here though. Yup, there it is. There it is. They're hers. Where that ballerina said that you touched? Where that bad boy at? There it is. Then obviously the front, go back, yup. Obviously the front door. Not yet. Not yet. There we go. Come on. Now we can leave. That's it. We're done. You get all the prints? Yes, 100% I got all the prints. 
I got what I got. It should be enough to prevent them from finding us. I got what I what else we touch? I didn't touch those desks, did she? <clears throat> like I'm not responsible to be remembering everything she touched. I'm looking at myself so, the whole time. You claim the victim was killed while you were in his shop. Yes, he went to get something in his office. A few minutes later, I went in to see if he was okay. That's when I found him. You should have called the police immediately, Mr. Shelby. Would have saved us dragging your ass down here. Listen, we had nothing to do with his murder. We were only there by coincidence. I just wanted to spare myself a few hours declaring I didn't see anything to a police officer. P.I. or not, Mr. Shelby, don't leave town. And if you end up next door to any more dead bodies, remember to call us. Okay? We still got sucked down there. I swear I got every single fingerprint. Well, well, Scott Shelby trouble again wrong time wrong place you know what it's like don't sweat it I'll take care of it. for old times sake thanks Carter I owe you one you want anything at the moment well I got some ideas nothing concrete well if it goes beyond the Idea stage. You tell me about it, wouldn't you, Scott? Sure. Sure. That's a hell no. Where are you going? I'm taking you home. This is getting way too dangerous. No way. We're partners, remember? We had a deal. We're partners, remember? Listen, Lauren, I know you want to find the killer, but you're not helping me by putting yourself in danger. I'm not a child. I know what I have to do. What's up I'm with these people? My you're not going to stop me. <clears throat> you're going to be a good girl. You're going to go home and let me get on with my investigation. Good girl is crazy. Stop the car. What? Stop the car. What? What's wrong with you? Huh? What is wrong with this girl? Okay, we can stop the swerving now. <laughs> what is wrong with her? Oh, we gotta get back on the right side of the road. Crap, I have no choice. I guess I'm doing this to protect her. This girl's stubborn as a mule. She doesn't let up, with or without me. I can't just leave her like that. She'd do anything to find the guy who killed her son. once again in my arms. I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have talked to you like that. It's just that I wouldn't want to see you get hurt.
you have a unlocked you have unlocked a new bonus <clears throat> Let's see what you got in you Ethan Let's see I said a thousand times that I don't. Hey, Ooh. take it easy, man. Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. Keep cool. Now what? <laughs> what do you want? Dope? Money? Tell me what you need. <clears throat> sure, we can make a deal, huh? Gosh! I don't know your brains out, you son of a. Whoa! I pressed the wrong button. I sure did. Ain't nobody trying to steal your dope, buddy. Woo! Okay. Now he got a gun. Now he got a shotgun. Well, oh, I almost didn't see that. Oh, they wanted me to wait there. Okay, I'm strategic. Ain't that shotgun out of... And bullets now? Do your body. I can't. Okay, he like he enjoying this. Got a kid? Hold it, man. I give you whatever you want. Got dope? I got cash? You want some How about you fake dead so that we can Please. make this look real? Please don't kill me, man. I got children. I see. These my girls, see. This one's Sarah. And a little one. That's Cindy. Please, man. Okay. I want to see them again. Please. Please don't. But you was about to blow my head off. But you about to blow my head off. I ain't gonna kill this man. I'm a father too. But I'm no killer. You should have you should you should have said, okay. Shoot shoot like his Take a picture of that! It's so many things we could have did. I would have been like, okay, man. Like, hey, if you, I would have been like, you heard of the origami killer, right? He is putting me through these different little situations and trials to prove how much I love my son, right? You heard my son, Sean, he's been kidnapped, right? He's putting me through all of this stuff, right? And the trial that he gave me was to come in and to kill you, right? Obviously, I don't want to do that because I'm a father myself. I'm a parent, right? So I, uh, like, if we could, like, you got some ketchup or something to where we can make this look like I shot you because they want me to send a picture, and a picture, and then you stay in hiding until all of this is done so that, right? It's so many things we could have did there. I just don't understand why Sean or why Ethan would didn't use his head. Use your head, buddy. Damn, we still could have got that clue up out of them. They wouldn't have known. Like, it ain't like they sending spies and they watching us. They don't know. <laughs> but that's the end of that episode. I'm going to end it there. I think I, I'm pretty sure we did trial three on the, at the start of this. And then we just finished trial four. So we only got one more trial left um, to do. We obviously didn't get the letters for that one because we didn't. I'm not killing uh, a person even though he was trying to shoot me and blow my head off but i mean we did kind of break into his house so i mean it's justified so i'm not about to shoot an innocent person um no matter how crappy they may be or seem like it just seems like he's a, a drug dealer right so i mean outside of that i mean hey <clears throat> so i guess we'll see what trial five brings us and still see if we are able to save our son i just still don't understand why he hasn't taken that phone with them letters on it 
to someone to be able to decipher that. I mean, it'd be easy. I'd be all up and on my own. I'd be all up and down Roosevelt. Like, how big is Roosevelt? Is it the length of the entire state or something? Like, you should be on that street looking, right? But, um, and by the picture, you can clearly see that it's going to be some factory or some abandoned building or something. Because, I mean, it's a great, there's not too many places that's just going to have random grates that deep to where you can do stuff like that. Um, but, hey, that's, 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 that's Ethan. Um, and I guess what he wants to do. So, I mean, I guess we'll see as this, we got to be getting close to the end, right? I'm assuming once we get to this fifth trial, we get closer to the end. I still have no idea who the origami killer could be out of the people that we, that we know, um, or that we're introduced to. Um, so hopefully the next episode, um, brings a little bit more information, brings a little bit more light to me. Um, as to who it could potentially be because I no longer think it's Ethan <laughs> so it has to be somebody else um, and I have no idea who it might be so here we are end of this episode I greatly appreciate you if you watched it um, I greatly appreciate the love and support y'all show the videos on a regular basis make sure you continue to spam that like button smash that button to join the notification be alerted and until next time ladies and gentlemen have a great one <laughs> Baby,